think from, I think it's a great example of localized generation, which is something that we need to be talking about more and more and more across the Commonwealth. So in order to make this happen everywhere, you know, we've been working on policies and back when we talked about Harvard, you know, we looked at tax policy and other kinds of policies to make this happen. But we also need to be talking about other things like grid resiliency and modernization, which I filed a bill on that too. Uh, because what we really need to do is if we want a more reliable system, we need to be talking about localized and distributed generation. Um, so this is a great example of that. Um, Littleton, I are not my district. Uh, but I'm very impressed. Uh, I'm very impressed with um, sort of the interest of, um, of you know, researching and, and, and putting these projects in the field. Uh, and Foxborough for really working so hard. The committee has just been phenomenal. I would say probably the most um, uh, outspoken hard-working committee in my district um, looking at these issues, so congrats to that. So I also have a citation for you. I don't know if I should read it, it's very similar. Um, the Commonwealth, of, mine's prettier though. I think. <laughs> <laughs> the Commonwealth of Massachusetts House of Representatives, be it hereby known to all, that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Green Street Power Partners in recognition of the ribbon cutting to mark the completion of the Boxborough Solar uh, community solar project signed by Robert Julio, Speaker of the